this is Palm Coast Mayor John Nets, and it's my pleasure to welcome to our wonderful community Grand Haven Realty. Uh, this is a great addition to our community. It's indicative of the growth that Flagler County and Palm Coast is experiencing. We wish them nothing but good luck in their endeavor here. Erickson, County Commissioner, District 1, uh, just here today to congratulate Jim and uh, Lindsay on opening their uh, new office here at, at Grand Haven and wish them all the success in the world. Hi, I'm Melissa Holland. I want to say a big congratulations to Grand Haven on this exciting ribbon cutting that's happening today. Um, both to Jim and Lindsay. This just demonstrates once again that the real estate market is coming back stronger than ever in Palm Coast. We're really excited about that. That has a great positive impact on our um, community, not only economically, um, but for our residents and visitors to come enjoy and appreciate so much what we have to offer. Congrats. Welcome you to the grand opening and ribbon cutting celebration for Grand Haven Realty. Um, I think there's a lot of people that we want to recognize, a lot of people that it took to make this all come together, but I do want to recognize some elected officials that have joined us here tonight. We have from the City of Palm Coast, Mayor John Nets. There we go, yeah. From the City of Palm Coast, Councilman Jason DiLorenzo. Uh, we've got Charlie Erickson, County Commissioner, and Nate McLaughlin, County Commissioner. And from our Sheriff's Office, we have Sheriff Jim Manfrey. So thank you guys for coming out. And at this time, I want to bring up and recognize Mr. Jim Cullis. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm Jim Collis. Um, I want to thank the Chamber for hosting this event tonight. And this is going to take a few minutes. There's no speeches tonight, but there were so many people who had a hand in um, getting this building built and, and getting our Grand Haven Realty here. But uh, first and foremost, i got to recognize my mother. Wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her, Virginia Collins. Uh, she truly has a love of God. If you get a chance to touch her, you will go to heaven no matter what. So, yeah, my family's here, my sisters, uh, Jennifer and Sarah, Kristen's here, everybody knows Kristen. So, um, I want to um, thank my team. And so, the Grand Haven folks, raise your hand. Okay. Yay! I, I haven't seen Sterling. Is Sterling still here? No. Sterling, right there. Charlie and I started this five, six years ago. He has been my true friend, my right-hand man. He's the only reason anyone ever stayed with me because of him. You know? So I want to thank him for everything he's done, and, and he's, he's been a, a truly a great friend. Um, I made a decision. I decided I was getting too old for this business, and, and our, our development company is really starting to take off. Our marina village is finally uh, underway down the street, thanks to the county, the direction of the county, the help of the county. Uh, my old King's Village project is going. Our senior care project, uh, Buddy Smith is here. Thank Buddy, you, president of Tuscan Senior Gardens. So we're excited to have them there. They're going to have a big part in this building. Yep. We dreamed about having a senior care uh, continuing community, independent assisted memory care. So when you live in Grand Haven or anywhere else in Flagler County, you never have to leave the farm, you never have to leave your friends, just go to the, great, to the next great neighborhood. So we're excited to have them. Good. They, they are moving forward in the process of the city of Palm Coast. The city's been very good to work with. Um, the city's really, I think, the first time in many years, both at the city and the county, we got great leadership. I know it's an election year, we got a lot of changes. All I hope is that at the end of this year that we have as good a team at the city and the county as we have now. So I want to thank them. At the, we've been in the city of Palm Coast since the beginning of time. And um, you know their, their team has been very helpful in getting this building built. So I'm happy to be there. Um, I have part of the concept of, of, the, of Grand Haven Realty Building is um, 
is our is our our allied uh, you don't say partners they're not partners but they are allied franchises or, or friends of ours so in this building oh that's it that's all i had in my <laughs> Sorry about that. There's a cube. Yeah. It's, it's your daughter. <laughs> but anyway, um, Shelly Stewart here. We want to thank Southern Title. Shelly. Shelly. Southern Title is now part of our team here. Um, uh, we have Austin Terriers. Kim Johnston may still be here. Her mother had a stroke last night. So, yeah. Um, but I want to Kim Johnston, Austin Terriers. So when you walk in the door, we have Title Company. We have an um, interior decorating company, and Ameris Bank is here. Dave Lewis is here with some folks from Ameris Bank. Dave, yep. Dave your, your, your folks who are with you, you want to introduce them briefly? Oh, we got a bunch up here. I can't remember them all. Just the top, just the top guy. That's all accounts. Well, that's me. Yeah. Um, we have, tonight, we've got a couple of representatives, uh, two of our mortgage bankers, Tracy Poach, Michelle Adams. Our um, local manager, Nedra Nash, is here. Uh, Scott Bamford is here. He's our builder representatives. Uh, Barry Thompson, the golf pro. He's our regional production manager. And Gary Lubai's here. Almost missed you. And <laughs> that guy. And also we have Ameris Bank Mortgage Services uh, president here tonight, Robert Odom. I want to thank you all for the support. And thank you for coming tonight. Great. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Um, and JJ's here from Salvo Art. All right, JJ. Yeah. Uh, uh, this and, and, and part of the art and the beauty of this building is the is the is Susan Doris and Holly Grimes are here. Susan is the decorator who did the furnishings um, and the interior decorating. Holly Grimes is with. Wakefield Beasley, she has been a super asset to us. She's just she did the design of the building. You marry that with JJ and Petra's art, and I think we really got a very unique place. Um, and, and I want to also, you know, um, I want to recognize Ameris Bank, but I also want to thank Bruce Page and Rick Wells because they loaned me the money. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, other than my mother, if it wasn't for them. We wouldn't be here, but uh, so they've been good friends. The Marist Bank, believe me, the Palm Coast and Flagler County has gotten big enough to uh, take care of two, two local banks, so we're happy to have all of them here. Um, I want to, uh, I made a decision a couple weeks ago uh, that, that really where we wanted to take Grand Haven Realty, um, the pit, I, I, you know, I wanted to focus on the properties company. I think Sterling and I did a great job getting us here, but I needed someone uh, with 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 a, a fresh vision, um, a little younger than, than me, to uh, to take over the helms of here and grow this business. And I want to thank Lindsey Dallimore for becoming my partner, and I want to give Lindsey a chance. Uh, just wanted to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Especially thank Jim for this opportunity. Um, very rare in life do you have the opportunity to make a decision like this and to leave a company that you were with for many years. But the vision that uh, Jim shared with me, I think we're on the same page. So all you realtors looking for a new office, uh, we're open, we're ready. So uh, did you sign in? Because now you're on my hit list, just so you know. Um, but I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. And, uh, you know, thanks for the opportunity. Yep. Great. Um, and I'll wrap up, but I, I, you know, Lynn was here from Bomar, still here, Lynn. Bomar was the general contractor. He just did a fantastic job. Had a, had a guy named uh, Levi Hutchinson was on site every single day. These folks are top notch when it comes to commercial business. Um, Mike Beebe uh, was our construction manager, landscape architect. Uh, the Scott Sowers is here, the Klein folks. I've, I've forgotten about a dozen folks. I do want her to recognize my team. Everybody raise their hand. And, and, yep, there you go. <laughs> one more time. I forgot about half the folks I want to recognize, but I do want to thank you all for coming. Um, this isn't the end of it. We're going to go back to the cafe and, 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 and have some fun. Um, and, you know, I really want to thank you all for coming here. I want to invite you to come out this weekend. 
you know, we tried to create a place that was all about kind of art and real estate and all the things you need with real estate, but really it was about a, having a great, fun place in, in, in a neat environment. And um, we're happy to be here, and I think hopefully we've accomplished that. And I want to thank you for coming tonight. Thank you. Is everybody ready for me to count them down? Yep. Okay, one, two, three, cut. <laughs> Congratulations, Grand Haven, the Realty. You've been a great member of our community for many years, and this expansion is wonderful. It shows great strength in our economy and your faith and trust in what's happening in Flagler County. Once again, congratulations. My name is Dave Lewis. I'm with Ameris Bank Mortgage Services, and um, I'd like to congratulate Jim Cullis on a fantastic uh, building that he put together, and we're very proud to be an alliance partner with uh, with uh, Great Haven Realty and, and uh, very pleased to be a part of this operation. Mm -hmm.